In this video I am going to talk about the OSPF opaque LSA type 10 and also some of the RSVP concept about the MPLST. You know that in previous scenario we learned how we can configure the MPLS traffic engineering globally on the router and also how we can configure TE on the for example IGP on the interfaces and finally how we can configure the interface tunnel and finally forwarding the traffic to the interface tunnel you learn about them and also you configured the scenario yourself and now uh, you better understand the function of the mplst but in this video i'm going to talk about the detail and the concept of the uh, OSPF as the IGP. You know that in MPLS traffic engineering, we can use one of the OSPF or ISIS as the IGP protocol. And until now, we configured only OSPF. And here I'm going to talk about the detail of OSPF about the LSA type 10. And also in the future videos, we will configure the ISI is the IGP protocol and also we will understand the uh, for example concept of ISIS about the traffic engineering about the MPLS traffic engineering in future videos for now let me to talk about some of the detail of the OSPF opaque LSA type 10 and at the uh, last part of this video also I'm going to talk about the RSVP about some of the resource reservation protocols concept you know that in OSPF we are using different LSA types for different function. For example, in OSPF, as you learned in your previous courses, we have LSA, uh, for example, type 1, okay? Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and also 11. This is the LSAs, OSPF LSAs in OSPF version 2. Okay, and you know the name of these LSAs. For example, LSA type 1's name is Rotor LSA, LSA type 2's name is Network LSA, LSA type 3's name is a Summary LSA, and LSA type 4's name is ASBR Summary LSA, LSA type 5's name is external LSA, LSA type 6 name is multicast OSPF or MOSPF LSA, LSA type 7 is the NSSA LSA and LSA type 8 is the external BGP attributes LSA and also LSA type 9 and 10 and 11's name is opaque LSA. Okay, let me to talk about these three types of the LSA. The names of this LSA, the global name of this, generic names of this LSA is opaque LSA. You know that in the previous courses, we didn't use the LSA type 9, 10, and 11. We used only L LSA type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and also 7. And LSA type 6 and 8, you know that doesn't support it in the, uh, don't support it in the Cisco because of that we don't use, we uh, didn't use the LSA type 6 and 8, but we use LSA type 1, 2, uh, 5, and then LSA type 7. Also, we didn't use in uh, any courses the LSA type 9 and 10 and 11. Let me to talk about these three types of LSA. As you know, the generic names uh, for these LSAs are opaque LSA. Opaque LSA means these LSAs doesn't have any, don't have any specific, any specified role and we can use this type of LSA for different function. Okay, let me to talk about this three LSA, LSA type 9, okay, LSA type 9, and then LSA type 10, and then LSA type 11. You know that, as I mentioned before, before we are using in MPLS traffic engineering the LSA type 10. The first question is that why we are using the LSA type 10 in the MPLS traffic engineering. This is because of the scope of the LSA. LSA type 9's scope is only a link. This means that we can advertise the LSA type 9 only inside a subnet inside the link. For example, if R1 uses one LSA type 9, okay, creates one LSA type 9, type 9 about 
its interface, its fast Ethernet 00, 00 interface, this LSA can only be advertised to router 2, and the router 2 cannot advertise or forward this LSA to other routers. Because of that, we are we don't, uh, for example, uh, use this type of LSA in MPLS traffic engineering because we need to advertise the link state of router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 4 to each other. And here we have one area, area 0. If you are using, if you are, if you use the LSA type 9 for LSA for MPLS traffic engineering, the LSA for the, uh, for example, one of the links of router 1 uh, cannot re uh, send, cannot receive in the router 4 in other routers. Because of that, in MPLS traffic engineering, we don't use the LSA type 9. And LSA type 10's scope is the, uh, for example, is in one area. This is so suitable this is so good for us because in the mpls traffic engineering we need to advertise the constraint of the link for example remaining bandwidth or other features of the link or in one area assume that r1 now used because here we have one tunnel as you can see the tunnel's bandwidth is uh, this is a tunnel zero the previous scenario i configured this tunnel zero with 1200 kilobit per second reserve bandwidth you know that the remaining bandwidth on the interface faster than a zero zero of r1 now is 800 kilobit per second and r1 needs to advertise this remaining bandwidth to other rotors in this area because of that we can use LSA type 10 for advertising this constraint. Why? Because the LSA type 10 has as a scope of the area and because of that the LSA type 10 of R1 can be received by the rotor 4. Okay. And also we have another LSA, LSA uh, type 11. The LSA type 11's scope is one AS or uh, for example is one dummy. This means that assume that here we have R1 then connected to the R2 connected to the uh, for example R3 and after that R4 okay the, uh, assume that the R1 to R3 is residing in the uh, area 0 okay here is the area 0 let me to write area 0 here until the uh, until R3 and after that here we have area 1 if the I'm going to compare these three type of opaque LSA. If you advertise one LSA type 9, okay, from R1, this LSA type 9 can only receive by rotor 2 and it cannot forward to the rotor 3. But if you send LSA type 10, this LSA can be received by rotor 2 and also to the rotor 3, but the rotor 4 can't receive this LSA. But if you use the LSA type 11 for advertising the, for example, constraint of the link, this LSA type 11 can forward to all, uh, for example, rotors in this uh, domain, in the OSPF domain or OSPF AS, okay, area 1. This L uh, LSA can be received by R4. Maybe it's surprising to you that it's not good for us. Why? Maybe you say it's better than LSA type 11 because, because uh, from the LSA type 10 because we can advertise one link state from r1 about the constraint of the link and all rotors in all other areas also can uh, understand can know about this remaining bandwidth or some other constraints but it's not a good uh, for example a uh, function why you know that normally when we are sending lsa type 1 or lsa type 2 okay rotor lsa and also network lsa this lsa type 1 only can reach can advertise inside of the area this means that if, if you advertise the constraint of the link to the other rotors in other red areas they can't use this constraint why because they don't have the topology of the area zero and this is not uh, for example useful and they may be only wasting the bandwidth of the links because of that in mpls traffic engineering we are using only lsa type 10 and because and lsa type 10 is suffering Efficient for us and it's suitable for our usage because the scope of this opaque LSA is the one area. The name of the LSA type name, type 9, is the opaque, okay, opaque link. And then the name of this LSA type 10 is, uh, for example, opaque, then uh, AS, uh, opaque, uh, for example, area, 
and after that I'm going to show you and after that the name of the third LSA LSA type 11 is the opaque AS let me to show you you know that if you want to uh, uh, for example verify the LSTB you need to use this command show IP OSPF uh, for example database it's correct and also here we have one option for LSA name for example for verifying the LSA type 1 we need to use 